At the heart of this problem, as most doctors have pointed out, is a serious lack of awareness. Dr. Sarika Verma, an ENT specialist, has been at the forefront of fighting noise pollution through awareness drives and campaigns. The hope is that people start paying more attention to changing their behavioural patterns. Hearing loss is an irreversible phenomenon. For example, when you go to a discotheque or where's a dhol bajra, so then you have this buzzing in your ear for a couple of hours and then the hearing comes back to normal. That is called the temporary threshold shift. But when you are exposed to loud noises over and over again, the body's cells lose their reserve to come back to normal. And then it is becomes permanent and that is called the permanent threshold shift. When that happens, your hearing becomes irreversibly damaged and the, there is no treatment, there is no medicine that can get your hearing back. So the only thing you have to do is wear hearing aids. In April 2019, Dr. Verma led a study to understand the impact of noise pollution on traffic personnel one of the most vulnerable profiles to the hazard. We chose this subset of traffic constables because they are the people who are exposed to ambient sounds on the road for almost uh, four to eight hours a day. So they are, I think, a very vulnerable group as far as noise pollution is concerned. And uh, we tested 588 personnel. Out of this, 45% had normal hearing and 54.5% had hearing loss. Out of that, 7.8% had a significant hearing loss. Significant hearing loss means they need hearing aids. You have headphone on your ear. There will be a sound in your ear. There will be a sound in your ear. There will be a sound in your ear. Okay? First, there will be a sound in your ear. Then, I will tell you. Added to the irreversibility of hearing loss is often the stigma attached to it. Most people are reluctant to use hearing aids because they consider it a disability. The stigma does often affect one's quality of life and could lead to mental health issues. However, till now generally viewed as a problem for the elderly, hearing loss and conditions like tinnitus are affecting the younger generation at an alarming rate. So, the normal hearing is about 20 decibel. When it falls below 30, then you start having a problem in listening and understanding speech. We are seeing a very disturbing trend that younger people are coming with hearing loss. And that is extremely disturbing because they are their productive age. They are, uh, they cannot hear. A lot of times you find that people in their 30s, in fact some people in their 20s, they will develop significant hearing loss. This is such an important part because it's a part of your uh, professional life. It affects your career and you know, so it's very important that you diagnose hearing loss early and you rectify it by using a hearing aid. 